This patchwork of homemade equipment could mean the difference between life or death in a part of the world that's seen far too much killing. Volunteer technicians and engineers have put it together to treat COVID-19 patients in Syria's war-torn Idlib province. We've created two pieces of equipment over 14 days, the PCR machine and a ventilator. At the start, we encountered challenges with the programming, and then we weren't able to find some of the parts because the crossing between Syria and Turkey is closed. An offensive by Syrian regime forces has made nearly one million people homeless in Idlib. It's also caused a severe shortage of medical facilities, equipment and medicines. The province has yet to report a confirmed case of COVID-19, but the UN says an outbreak could lead to a high number of fatalities. But these volunteers hope to build hundreds of makeshift machines to prevent that from happening. The regime has hit most of the infrastructure, so we risk having many deaths if, God forbid, the disease strikes and there's no preparation. We used all our energy and teamed up with the medical engineering students and other people in this field. We came up with a smart ventilator machine. Aid groups warn it's only a matter of time before the virus becomes a serious problem in Idlib. That's why the work of these volunteers could play a critical role in helping save lives. Shoeb Hassan, TRT World.